What's up guys, it is Fusion, and uh, I'm going to start up a Let's Play. I know I said I was going to continue off on the Let's Play off and do it there, just build off after that's finished. But with 1.3 coming out, I'm actually on the latest snapshot, uh, week 23. Um, with 1.3 coming around, you know, there's some terrain changes, and I wanted to take advantage of the large biomes. So, I'm just going to start my Let's Play off. In this snapshot, hopefully terrain doesn't change too much. So let's create a new world. What should we call it? Let's call it Fusions. Or Fuses, yeah. Fuses. Let's play. Cool. Lowercase at L, or else it's going to annoy me the rest of my life. Survival, of course. World type. Large biomes. And a bonus chest. No, uh, I don't. Th I don't think we're gonna do that. Allow cheats off. Perfect. Um, seed for a world generator. I was looking at some seeds before, and I found one which is pretty interesting. It's called World Tree. I haven't gone underground, only just around the surface a little bit, so I don't know like locations of uh, dungeons or anything. I probably only went a 200 by 200 square around the spawn point. So let's. I think that was two T's in Let's Play. Crap. <laughs> oh well, doesn't matter. Um. So yeah, I'm probably going to be editing. Ooh, my graphics are buffed down a bit. Let's difficulty hard all the time. I'm gonna do that. Uh, video settings, render distance. Let's go to far graphics, fancy. Server textures. What? <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so I'm probably going to be heavily editing this uh, series, like I said before. I got a lag spike right there. So it's not going to be like the Let's Play off where I document every single second. So this starting, um, it's going to be a bit slow. You see a start in a very neat looking mountain biome. I actually like how this looks a lot. Um... First of all, let's get some food. Let's punch the crap out of these freaking chickens. Steal their XP, which is nice. And uh, look for a place to live. I don't want to wander off too far from my spawn point. Because that would not be good if I die without a bed. Uh, okay, I'm not going to go for you. You shall survive today, piggy. That's not a pig. That's a chicken. I usually have telepathic moments with piggies a lot more than chickens. Chickens, I usually let them. I let them live. So we gotta find some trees first. First of all, you know. Um, let's get a rose in our hot bar. We can carry it around. We need some trees. Get some wood. You know, just the average. Let's play stuff and uh, gravel here. Sweet. There's our first tree. So yeah, I'm probably going to be skipping through a lot of this. Um, probably just me crafting my first tools and everything. Chopping down some trees. Oh, punching some trees. That's what I like to do in my spare time. I like to punch trees. So let's just get this tree. I can craft my tools. I'll go get that coal that I found earlier. Pretty neat looking mountain biome, I must say. And I'm probably going to leave the grass default without the better textures on better grass in the Optifine mod, just because, you know, it's. Eh. Not everybody. Ooh, oak wood? Oak wood planks. Hmm, that's new. Just because not everyone uses it, it's kind of a thing unique to me. I've never really seen anyone use it in any. YouTube stuff. Make our first wooden pickaxe. There we go. And I see a creeper. Two creepers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, uh. Um. Eh. And they're laggy with. Ah, oh, dang. With the 1.3 update. So, they act as they do in multiplayer, which is really gay. I hate, gotta admit, I hate that. Don't see why they did that. Apparently, single-player worlds are now server worlds. I don't 
see why it was working just fine before. Don't have to change something like that. Ah. Maybe it makes the generation or whatever run more smooth, but I, I don't care. I hate laggy mobs. That's almost the only reason why I um, play single player a lot. Because laggy mobs are just annoying. Because then you get stuff like this, you know, the creepers. They're a bit more lag. Laggy. What's that other creeper doing over there? That's weird. So, yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> get some stone. Don't think he sees me yet. Um, <laughs> hurry and craft a sword. Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! Bring it. I can take you on now. So, uh, he seems to have lost interest in me. That's cool. I'll just... Oh, wait, never mind. Ah, this sucks. Goodness. I gotta get better at fighting creepers and single player. Ugh, that's annoying. Hopefully that changes in the real 1.3 since I'm just playing on the snapshot. So, let's just fill this in as best as I can because I hate creeper holes. hate them so much. That's good enough. Let's grab ourselves uh, two more pieces of cobblestone. It's very dark in there. And uh, make our stone pickaxe. We're going to save that wooden pickaxe for the rest of our lives. Sweet. So I'm pretty much just going to do montage style here. So I hope you guys like the rest of this episode. I'll tune in and start talking next exciting point. So, yep. Another creeper. What the? What? Okay, this guy's got to go. Oh, I guess they're coming from there. It's kind of strange. Ah! No! Don't blow up. Uh, this is not a good place to fight a creeper. You come down to my level, and then we'll talk. Yeah! Yeah! 360. Ooh. He just got owned. <laughs> okay. Montage time. Okay, so at the rate I am going with mining up this coal, I'm going to be at level 30 in no time. I think XP with mining ores is pretty overpowered, I must say. I'm already a level 15, halfway there. So, just letting you guys know my thoughts. Cook chicken. And I even got more XP for using the furnace. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that scared the freaking crap out of me. Goodness, and they hit hard. Whoa. Ho -ho. I was about to die by that thing. That would have been sad. Gotta be a lot more careful. Start blocking. It's getting dark. It's cool. I'll just make a little hidey hole. Spend the night in a cave or something. Oh, the spider, he decided to come outside. Let's just kill some of these cows, actually. Have some more food to survive the night. There's some sheep over there, actually. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna skip the night. So I have a lot of coal at this point. 44. And, uh... No iron yet. I'm getting there. Alright, that's enough for a bed. Out here, 
The night is so much... It's, it's really cool with all the stars. I think they actually flicker too. I don't know, I can't tell. There's some light down there. Maybe a lava pool? Not sure. Alright, that'd really suck if I died because I already have 20 levels on me. So, uh, let's make myself a... Yeah, I don't have... Well, I, okay, I got a sapling. Oops. I was about to say I don't have any wood, but I do have a sapling. Awesome. <laughs> so let's just do this for now. So I can make a quick bed. Cut down the rest of that tree in the morning. Ah, sweet. Hi. Alright. So, I'll see you guys back when something else interesting happens. Probably gonna leave that bed too. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave my outpost in this world. In case you guys want to download the world every so often. And you can see, you know, all the places we've visited. So, yep. See you guys when something else interesting happens. Once again, Gucci Mobs. Ah. He's not actually there, he's up there. Ow, just kidding. <laughs> oh, he does damage. <laughs> Goodness. No iron yet, sadly. I'd like to see some iron. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I think that's it. I've stripped out all the coal in this area. And, you know, that I can know of. It's a uh, stack and almost a half. It's, it's pretty good. I need a little bit more food. I'm actually a level 27 also. Like I said, mining is... My, I mean, mining for experience is pretty... Dang overpowered, <laughs> I must say so myself. I mean, yeah, it helps me get to level 30 quick, but I think it should be harder than that to get enchantment. Although I don't know if enchantments were nerfed or anything. There's lots of cows, and yes, I was correct. There's a lava pool over there. Well, lava fall. Luckily, with killing these cows, I can get their leather. And also a bit more XP. So yeah, it's very dark down there, ooh, kind of want to explore that just because there may be a little bit of thrill for you guys. Then again, I don't want to die. I have 27 levels on me. He sees me. Yep. Oh gosh, he does three hearts of damage. Haha. <laughs> Oh yes, and he dropped a bow. Awesome. Dang, that was that was way worth going after that guy. And look at this place. Oh gosh, we need to act. Look at this. And uh, block his next shot. Get him. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> this is intense. Gotta watch my back at all times. Light this place up as best as I can. Hmm, I think I will have to explore this another day. Cool. Hello, chicken. Biggie. Let's parkour up here. I'm surprised I actually did that. So I have two pieces of leather. Eight pieces of steak. Well beef at this point. It'll soon be steak. I like steak. So let's just get rid of the rest of these guys. Be done for. Get him. And uh, sure, we'll take a bit of falling damage. Oof. That hurt. Got ourselves uh, something up here. Eh, not really. Hmm. Make ourselves some more torches. And I'll probably bring you guys back into something else interesting. Probably when I find my iron. Or get to level 30, which won't 
be too far away. <laughs> at the rate I'm going, at least. Okay, so I want to go head off in a direction to explore for a place to, you know, build my house and everything. And when I um, tried out the seed, I went in that direction. And I built a little thing in the jungle. But, uh, I don't know, I don't think I want to build in the jungle for a permanent house. Uh, I kind of want to go in this direction. Hopefully I'll meet up with, in a good area next to some nice looking mountains to build. I think I'm just going to cook up this beef. And, uh, then I shall head over there. Also make myself some more tools and everything. So, yep, see you then. Guess I'll sleep before we head out on our little quest. Here's my inventory. Got some more pickaxes, a backup of a shovel, an axe, some swords organized a bit more. I don't know, it's not much organization, but uh, whatever. So, um, yeah. Got my food out, just move those over there so it looks a little bit better. Probably light up out here. Just because. And, uh, let's take a nap. Well, hi there. Eh, yeah, I'm just, you know, <laughs> talking to myself. This is not a server. It says save and quit to title, obviously. Servers say disconnect. So yeah, I will explore in this direction and uh, let you guys know when I find some interesting terrain, which seems to be loading up over there. Some really nice, smooth mountains. It's a nice place. Looks like I got a cave system under there. I don't want to look at those too much. Because I don't, I, I mean, I consider that cheating and everything. Maybe you guys don't, but that's just how I feel. This is a really, really nice looking bio. Hey, don't do that. Oh, shut me off. So yeah, let's just go explore a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna get away from that. Who will? Yeah, have sugar cane down there. I'll go pick that up. Oh, well, hi there. Lighting glitch. Oh, nothing there. This place is freaking littered with cows. They, they gotta be slaughtered. The only way. Got a mushroom here. Pick that up. <laughs> okay. Cool. Got that correct? Yes, we do. I also want to kill some more cows to get some more armor, since I'm not being too lucky with iron. Early game. No iron in this uh, pond. Six. Oh, well, that was weird. Uh, okay, I'm just going to back away from you. That's definitely what I'm looking for at this point, is some iron. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know next interesting thing I find. Okay, so I just turned around, and that is a really good-looking mountain. This place is a pretty tempting place to build in, but there's not much flat stuff to do on the outside. Of course, I'm planning on making most of my things underground, but still, I'd like a little bit of mobility. I could terraform a bit. i get resources like dirt and cobblestone. Dang, this looks cool. You guys saw the seed I used, so <laughs> type that in. I highly recommend it. Ooh, got ourselves some iron down there. That's great. Hmm. I think I will settle in this place for a little bit until I make up my mind. See what I want to do. I want to be pretty certain where I settle because uh, I usually make my place pretty intense. Is this a glitch? Yeah, I think it is. And uh, there's a mine shaft down there. But I have to keep looking. <laughs> okay. Actually, I don't know what this is. 
Interesting. Yeah, there's lots of stuff down there. I'm gonna look away. I don't really want to abuse that glitch too much, but uh, if it's interesting enough, I'll <laughs> keep looking. So let me just get this iron, the first iron in my world. So I'll also pick up this coal. I will probably get to a level 30 after this vein. So here we go. And level 30, great, we just barely maxed out pretty much. Let's get this stuff. Uh, let's get this first. I sat down. Grab those sticks to make some more torches. Torches are always a good thing to have. Man, I get so much XP for mining. I mean, it's it's day two, and I'm already at level 30. Oh well. I'm cool with it. Sweet. Apparently you don't get any XP for mining iron, which is kind of weird. Probably just the ores that drop the raw resource, not, not the ore. So I'm guessing gold and iron do not give you any XP. Redstone, diamond, and coal. Lapis do, apparently. So, cool. Let's get out of here a little bit. Let's make up our mind. What do we want to do? Where do we want to stay? Did I pick that up? Yes. I was like, what? Hmm. That's a cool place. Uh, I just don't think I can make it work. I'll probably live somewhere close to here. Because this is definitely a neat place. It's a cool spawn area. Awesome, we got some more iron. Hear something splashing. Skeleton. And I also hear an enderman. About at least two skeletons. If it's a dungeon, then ugh, it'd be hard to leave this place. Okay, they're probably right up there. I should probably make myself some more armor before going up against them. Let's make a chest plate. Sweet. That looks so stupid. <laughs> With leather armor, it's like you're wearing freaking cardboard. <laughs> as we can. Get ready to block. Let's try and be quiet. Hmm. Apparently they were not in this direction. Let's go back. Can hear them over there. Oh, we'll look for their cave. We also got some iron. Perfect. Check over here. Sounds like they're just right over there. Hmm. Well. Oh my goodness, that is deep. Yeah, um. This is where we're going to be getting our resources. Let's, uh. Come out here, set up a little shelter. Probably call it quits for the day. I actually have no saplings. It's not good. Let's grab this tree up here. Okay, so I've been sitting here waiting for the leaves to despawn to get some saplings. Because that's the way I prefer getting saplings. Don't know if, any, if it's any better, you know, higher chance letting it disintegrate other than punching, but whatever. Um, and I think I can make this area work. Um, part of the reason why I like uh, old school terrain generation so much is that Mountains can occur anywhere, and when they do, when there's mountains, they're just littered with trees and everything. And uh, that's kind of why I don't like these mountain biomes so much, because there's not many trees on them. They're just pretty bare. I mean, it's it's cool looking at them, but it's, it's pretty much it. It's just 
mountain. There's no awesome trees everywhere. But uh, I think I could probably make this place happen. Um, I could probably make that little cave system down there my home. Just tweak it up a bit. Make some minor improvements. Well, probably major for you guys, but uh, minor for me. I, I kind of want my home to flow with the cave rather than just be like pretty boxy. Hello. What should we name you? You guys come up with his name. Let's, uh, let's give you a uh, piece of cobblestone so we can remember where you are at. So yeah, I think that's enough saplings, and I think I will make this place work. I can go terraforming, I'll probably tear down that big ledge, get rid of all the hovering stuff, because I don't like that kind of, kind of stuff. Um, yeah, probably litter this place with crazy amounts of trees, and I was envisioning an awesome, like, dimly lit pathway for a boat dock thing. I, I have some good visions with this, so I'll probably call it quits for this episode. Let's just uh, go make, I don't know, uh, where should I throw my temporary house? I'll just do right here. It'll be small. I'm also going to need to get more wood for my door. So, yeah, it's a slow beginning, a very crappy house. But uh, I'll, I'll play more. I'll go into that cave and uh, explore a bit. Let's actually seal up this thing with gravel. So, yeah, that's it for this episode, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.